Here we go. So if I let's see if I sit there. Okay. I am trying anything here. I am going to try to uh, get my booty out of this house, um, go on my walk, and uh, I want to take at least an hour walk um, so I can keep that going. I want to do my driving, um, and it will be in the Milwaukee area, like I said, so it will be in my uncomfortable place. I'm uncomfortable already so and I'll tell you I'm still taking my Xanax like he told me as prescribed and I'm still uncomfortable I feel sick and I think that Xanax is helping my heart not race and that kind of a thing but um, anyway I uh, I'm just really looking forward to the day that this will be a distant memory that I'll look back on these video diaries and <laughs> and be like wow glad that's over or man that was hard I'm glad that I'm on the other side because I'm so not on the other side quite yet. And I cry because I want to stay positive. But um, I come from kind of a negative background. And it's so hard to switch your mind over, even at 41, to, to what you were brought up with. And, then how I continued that thinking all through my life. Still wrestling with the facts of, or not the facts, but the way that I am in regards to if I'm feeling happy, somehow I feel I have to pay for that. With feeling crappy. Because <laughs> I guess there's no high without a low. But again, that's that's life too in a way you know I need to um, deal with life so I keep telling the kids and there's always there's this funny joke comedian says about her baby just cries for nothing she's like if you can't even do baby how you can do anything else and I need to be able to do life Just, I do trust Dr. R and then he entrusts me into the care of these two women now I haven't really dealt with the other woman yet Allison but Melinda I do really like she's a very nice gal and we do the therapy but it's just walking and talking um just want it to help and I'm not the most patient person in the world I don't think I cried yesterday though I just cry because I want to be well <sighs> wish I could just completely stop arguing with my husband but like the harder you try to get your point across the less your point even matters or that you even remember what your point was in the beginning so I drop it and it becomes pointless and sorry to say both of our communication skills um, I'm highly communicative and he is not but he tries to be <laughs> Anyway, how do I get myself out of this bathroom? In my little teeny bathroom <laughs> that someday I'll have hopefully memories about and not have to actually live in it forever. <laughs> the teeniest bathroom you ever want to see. But, um, 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'll feel better, I know. I'll feel better as soon as I do it, right? It's just making that first step and getting out of here. And, uh, yeah. I fix my makeup. We'll see how. I'll update probably tonight. I don't know. First, Christina wanted me to just update, um, like daily or whenever I saw Dr. R. But I find that whether my husband puts this on my side or not, I find it again therapeutic to um, do little updates. And I like to look back on them so I know exactly how I was feeling throughout the day. And I can really appreciate when I feel better to look back and say, those are my last tears that I'm going to cry about this. But they are. They're going to be my last tears. Some of the last tears, right? <laughs> 